Good morning, everyone. You know, <laughs> laughter off <laughs> must mean I'm not alone <laughs> this morning. Uh, and <coughs> that little giggle in the corner can mean only one thing. Mr. John Cole Morgan is here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with a super fine shirt on today. I have to say, Myra, he does not disappoint. Not this morning. Nope, not no, today. No, 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 no. Um, so <laughs> I noticed that was like the only comment was uh, make sure it doesn't disappoint. <laughs> You've made a rod for your own back there. You realise that, don't you? Mm? You've made a rod for your own back oh, there. Oh, I'm up to the challenge. Okay, you're up for the On challenge. On the other channel, I never wore the same shirt once. You never wore Not the once. same channel? Uh, the same channel? The we s see, now that we've done the move, the wardrobe, we have all oh. the shirts in one space. So, so the good thing is, is they're all colour-coded because my husband's really OCD. Um, I love this. So John says to me, I said, so is that your, your share or, or Andrew's? <laughs> it's just like, uh, you know, we, we just share. Of course. We've got to have share. perks in mariage. Well, you know, absolutely. Good morning. Should we see, should we see who's here? Yes. Should we see yeah. who's with us this morning? We have got Fran and Pat and Jan and Steph and Sharon. Good morning. And Rebecca, I got your email. I will email you back. Interesting. She says, morning, guys. Lovely day here in Derby. Um, and Jennifer and Elaine um, and, you know, and others joining us. Oh, Pam, hello, 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 hello. Oh, she sent us a kiss. Oh. oh you can't be a bit of love on a Monday. Can can't you? beat it, can't no. beat it. No, 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 no. Um, the Stitch Don is here. Ooh. I don't know if it's Stitch Don or like, you know, the Stitch Don. I'm going with that one. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is where it's like Donna or something. And it doesn't matter, uh, that's perfect. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, we've got options, right? Exactly. We've got options. It's all good. We've got Jane and Angela and Shirley and Jenny and Claire. Good morning. She's looking forward to this. Yay. I mean, I, yeah. And Bridget. And, I don't know what that was. It was a lot of words that got a bit mashed uh, all together. Excellent. So um, I, you haven't got me for very long. You've got John. Um, John, this is the last block of the month. It is. We're finished. Is it an actual block or is it? It's the putting together bits and bobs and I've got a couple of tips here and there on how to make it easier as well. There we go. Okay, so that's what John's going to do. Um, oh, morning Maggie. Morning Donna. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, and then, oh, I love this. You just fabric. happen to uh, whip up <laughs> a, uh, a quick Halloween quilt. Yeah. Glow in the dark. It, it is so fabulous and I wish I could get a photograph of it because I'm a bit you know of a kid in that way is that I actually literally stuck it under spotlights, Did you? put it in the room, turned the lights off, and I couldn't get a decent photograph of it because it was dark. It's like when you take a photograph of the sky, you can't get no. it to focus. But so, it's so cute. It really is. It really is. Lewis and Irene, um, I don't know if you guys know much about Lewis and Irene, but let me fill you in. So Lewis and Irene are a UK-based company. Um, Lewis and Irene are the grandparents of the people that now run it. Yeah. Um, so Hannah the granddaughter, uh, get, she's a woman after my own heart, she gets very excited by things like glitter and, you know, glowing she's the dark stuff. She's, 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 she's our she's type of people. She's our type of people. person, yeah. So, um, which is fab, which means that um, everybody else tries to rein her in and she's like, no, we will have glow in the dark everywhere. So <laughs> me and my kids love glow in, the glow in the dark stuff from Lewis and Irene. Freddie's, his top bunk is just covered Fabulous. in glow in the dark stuff. Um, you do have to charge it. I didn't realise this, did you? Until I started working with Glow in the Dark Fabric, you have to charge it in daylight. You do. So when you get it in your packet and it arrives kathunk, on your doorstep, you do have to get it out, waft it around in the sunshine a bit. Or, you know, okay, well, let's just go with daylight, shall we? For, for those now. four go. days a year in our British <laughs> weather, you can days use a it. Year, that's the one. <laughs> let's waft it around a bit. But, but I will give you a tip if you use the spotlight on your mobile phone, that spotlight does give it a, you know, when your, your phone lights, oh, yeah, it also that does do a little bit there. Awesome. And Jan yeah. Hill said that if you use a UV black light, well, that this is the other well. thing. Jan is a knowledge of information. She's it, a wealth of knowledge. It, it does work, but unless you're CSI, who no, has one? No, they're six ninety nine on e on 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 the company, Mr. Bezos's company, that one. Mr. Uh, Bezos. Amazon. They're oh, only six ninety nine on Amazon, according you say to Jan. Amazon. Hill. Well, I don't know if we're allowed but to, and then I forget. We, we can say what we like. Oh, we I was being rude <laughs> about other do. people before we went live. <laughs> One of those awkward moments where you really hope. <coughs> um, yeah, okay, so, but again, 
who has one if it's not for like CSI? For six ninety nine, Jan convinced me that it's on okay. its way. Okay. Oh, you've okay. It's so on its you way. is the answer. But you, the great you thing with this one. as well is, as embroidery, you're going to test the cleanliness of your house. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a new cleaner start. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So uh, <clears> this <throat> is part of the prerequisite. I need to see nothing. <laughs> When I come at you with my new light. Where's this going already? This is deteriorated already. John's now oh. wiping away tears. Um, I did say to somebody the other day, because they were asking what it was like at work here, and I said, if I haven't it's not work. laughed it's by not work. 7 o'clock in the morning, something is wrong. Something is very wrong. Sue's avoiding work. Quite um, right. I approve this message. Should, but, but I'm going to actually start. Oh. Start at 11. <laughs> Oh no, I think actually it's sewing work. Morning, Karen. Happy anniversary for yesterday, by the way. Oh, I, what I want to know is, what were the, was it red flowers down the back of your wedding dress? What were they? I need a close-up photo because it looked stunning and I need can, to Can know I get that. some more words? Can you get some more words? What? Look, so Karen's anniversary on yes. the back of her wedding dress. Right, okay. There were, there were like flowers or something down the back. Stranger. Oh, no, 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 that's right. That's a stranger going to let the duck out because Freddie forgot this morning to let the ducks out. Um. There are ducks. We've got ducks. You know we've got ducks. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah. I have um, never been able to walk your 16 acres, darling. <laughs> You've got flat feet or something. No, I need a tractor. Oh, inappropriate footwear. Uh, so, <laughs> a tractor. I'd love a tractor. It's on my wish list. Anyway, we digress. So, um... This fabric but this glows happened, in the dark. But it, that happened by accident because what I was doing is I was making my little bags for today, yeah. and I cut the squares out and I laid them on the on the so, on yeah. the cutting board to, and I went, oh, ooh, and then I thought, you know what, give it a go. Two hours that took, start to end, two Seriously? hours. Seriously. Two hours. Oh, and you've got I the did new a YouTube metallic video on it as well. And the new metallics, metallics. as well. It's gorgeous. Which, do you want to see the new metallics? <gasps> right. Um, it's so. Oh my god, are there different shades of it? <gasps> yeah, the Ooh. unicorn ones are back as well. Do you want to see this? That here we go. <laughs> it's tough, really, because I'm doing the camera, so it's uh, it's uh, that. <laughs> it is so Look at that. lovely. Isn't it beautiful? The unicorn one that we had last year just went. Mm. Just I blinked and it wasn't there anymore. It's gorgeous. And I forgot to put some aside. So this is really lovely. Really beautiful stuff. Um, do you want to see the other? It's rude not to. Well, you know, yeah. This it's is all available by the half metre today, by the way, just so that you know. Um, glow in the dark. Now, if so I'm not mistaken, Gemma's actually put the pictures up from Lewis and Irene of what oh, they look of like what in they the glow, glow in the dark. Like. Oh, well, there you go. You see, we have, we have ways. I'm pretty sure uh, Myra's she watching. Hi, Myra. Oh, oh, no, hang on. No, no. Well, she is, but she said watch it. that wasn't the message, and it keeps moving now. Um, watching John make this last night. He's such an inspiration. Did you do oh, it live? I did. Did you? I decided to do a little YouTube video, because the thing along. is, there's nothing worse than sitting in your studio making something really amazing like this, and you're on your own. So I thought, oh, I'll do a little live feed, and Why not? oh my God, your ducks. Sorry. I'm like a magpie. They're amazing. They're beautiful ducks, aren't they? They're rescue ducks. Oh yeah, yeah. So here we go. This is the Lewis and Irene um, friendly cat-based pumpkins. They're gorgeous. Uh, which is was always uh, well, it's not scary fabric. No, it's really pretty. Oh, the bats! Now you see, I like the ghosts. Oh, do you? They're also, like also glow in the dark. Also glow. Yeah. So the bat outlines <coughs> glow in the dark. <laughs> what did I see it? Oh. <laughs> took Freddie to golf at the weekend and uh, it was it was um, raining and this one very cool kid rocked up with a Batman umbrella. Yeah. Show off. We, I know, right? We all coveted that. <gasps> like, uh, oh my God, look at the black bats. I know! Oh. Black glow-in-the-dark bats. Mm. <clears throat> I didn't order that one. Did you not order this that one? Very you got funny. fabric envy. Uh, a little bit. But I always do when I come here. I know. Jane and I, I got oh. here when you were dropping the kids off, and Jane and I were going through all the fabric in the in the room. And I said to her, Jane, how do you leave it all behind? She says, oh, I take some she of doesn't. it with me occasionally. <laughs> she doesn't, John. <laughs> she does not. That new um, ballerina slipper grunge. Oh, That's all gorgeous. Hello. It's all gorgeous. <clears throat> um, as are these castles, castles with bats. Fabulous. And ghosts. That glow in the dark, and you've even got little spidery things there. Are we loving this? A little I bit. love it. Or is it just, just me and John having a lovely yep. time? <laughs> <laughs> but those, those little ghosts on the other ones are like. Basically ooh. being big children. 
Quite and, right. And that's absolutely fine. I am Can I tell you a these. secret? Go on. You, you know when you I came can't last month? any secrets, John. When I, when I came last month, Go on. I had my little bag. I you know, I've got all my projects in a separate yeah, yeah, yeah. individual bag. Yeah. So I'd, um, I'd lost a bag of sweeties what? in my bag the last Damn, time I came. What? So I've just found a bottle of water and my big bag of Colin the Caterpillar sweeties. Oh, have you? <laughs> so I think we're going to need to share those while we go. On. Result. Oh, I love a Colin the Caterpillar. Who doesn't? They're really good. No one I know. No. No one I know. These no one I are wanna amazing. Know. Look at them. It's oh, and they've got colours around them as well. I love oh, hang that. on. We might have to go a little closey, closey, uppity, uppity. It would be rude not to. Bear, bear with me, Caller. Let me just uh, sort that out for you. You know what I didn't do? I didn't check the camera angle this morning. Oh, you nailed it. I know, right? Obviously. It's like I'm a professional. It's like you've done this before. <laughs> That is so cute. Times. Look at that. <coughs> yeah. I might have to make this quilt again. Are you? I think I might with these. Who are you going to gift it or keep it? Is keep it going to be it? one each? Is it? Are we talking his and It his? really can have it when I die. That's it. That's the thing. Once it's made into a quilt and I'm dead, you can have it. Thanks. <laughs> Anybody else that's, can that's have it? That's lovely. As long as my family doesn't get it, they like, can have it. Does it come haunted or something with it? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if you're going to be haunted by anybody, I'm the one who's going to make you laugh the most. You will be. You will be like one of those exactly ghosts, going, won't you? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> so this morning, um, the usual conversation had to happen. No, Emily, it's not your birthday. Oh. No, Emily, it's not Christmas. No, we're not going on holiday today. <laughs> And Do you just like ruin this child's day know, before she even gets out of bed? Know, right? I'm feeling that. I've just got this image of her going, what do I have to live for? Why <laughs> <laughs> must I get no, out no, no. of bed? We've added a new one to the no oh, list, yes, yes. which is, is the advent calendar full of chocolate? No! It's oh, no. August. How many days till Christmas? I don't know. That's your department. Your I Christmas. I looked this week. Come I keep on, forgetting. You know. Hey, look, do you want to see the pumpkins? No, I want to know when Christmas oh, is. Yeah. <laughs> you do that. I'll do this. Yeah, it's all right. Just leave it over here to, you know. How old fun many spoiler days here. until Christmas? 124. 124. Try, yeah, for the child that can count to 11. Oh. And do you know why she can count to 11? Because we have 11 stairs. Oh. Before she was even two, she just walked up the stairs one day and just counted to 11 and then just stopped because we only had 11 stairs. <laughs> None of us had taught her to count. <laughs> that, that is my child. I love it. Yep. These yep. are really sweet. And I Aren't think this is a binding is really good with that little pop of a face. Look, if you're doing a little, a little bag for trick or treat, ooh, did not nail that, John, did I? No. Uh, then look at those happy, happy faces. They're really sweet. Tickly faces. Crikey, look at, look at these. Look at that shocked pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Next to the smiley pumpkin. It's, it's hours of pumpkin, pumpkin joy. fun and joy. Uh, absolutely. I tried to make a pumpkin a different way to my usual pumpkins. It didn't go so well. I'm going to stick with my normal. In fact, I might make some. Um, It'd be rude not to. Yeah, I made them out of, last year I was very sensible with my pumpkin makes and I made them out of the, um, oh, the face, K Facet Collective <gasps> melons fabric. Oh. So they looked like proper gourds. They're beautiful. Oh, they're in the, um, gorgeous. yeah, they're in the copper bowl in the hall. Ooh. Yeah. But this year, this year, I might, you know, do some for the kids. Yeah. Be rude you not know. to. I mean, let's face it, I'm, I'm not getting Mum of the Year or any other way, am I, by the time that I've wrecked Rubbish. Christmas, birthdays Your and kids holidays. Look, or you mean daily <laughs> wrecked all of these things. Oh, <clears throat> you know. Well, it's a good thing your daughter's birthday doesn't fall on Christmas, because that would just ruin her life. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? We're actually going on holiday on her birthday this year. Oh, anyway, nice. Um, we are, well, I'm taking, yeah, I'm taking them and the kids down, uh, them, the horses and the kids to Devon. Divine. Well, not to. Um, that's, that's, you're going to show what you made, yes, aren't but now you? I want to ask, show and shall tell? we do pumpkin first? Shall we do Halloween first and then I'll do the block of the month? Yeah, yeah, yeah of, course, of course, of course, of course. I'm going to go and sit over there. You can't. With um, Naughty Morty. I was going to say, Mortimer's not moving. He's very comfortable. Oh yeah, I know. Well, I tried and I got the look. Did so you I thought, get the no, look? I'm not doing that. One person's life's already been ruined in this house today. Well, Emily's. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Little ray of sunshine, me. <laughs> Killing dreams in oh, the front centre. I'm not the dream catcher, I'm the dream killer. Morning! Did I win? Is Whoops. that all right, Myra? 
Hang Hello, on. everybody. How are we all doing? Now, I don't know, some of you may follow me on social media, and we tried this. Did you see Gerald? I think you did see Gerald. Who's Gerald? What do you mean, oh, who's no. Gerald? Oh, oh Christ! <laughs> <laughs> The other it's, way. I showed what Andrew, he's like, that? you look like that before you've had your coffee in the morning. I was like, oh, that's why oh, I married that's you. Love. That's but love, yes, isn't it? we made this and I post on social media. It was the first time I had one comment Ooh. going, that's horrible. <laughs> so <laughs> Gerald has not made it into. I mean, you know. Yeah, well, you know what? That's why we do it because sometimes you make things and it works and sometimes it doesn't. So <laughs> Gerald now lives in his little metal container. <laughs> but we have got. <laughs> A wow. bag of Call of the Caterpillars. Oh, is that our trick or treat? Yeah. I'm doing that thing where I'm <coughs> hovering because I don't want to. Uh, upset yeah, the I cat. tried. I tried and I looked at it and I thought, there's no way. I can't. Look at that comfort. I just wish we could get a camera on it because no one would believe the comfort in that little face. He peed on the end of my bed the other day and I had to buy a whole new mattress. I'm moving him. I don't care. <laughs> that is comfort. <laughs> He really is living up to the <laughs> An entire new mattress, John. <coughs> there was no salvaging it. Oh, no. Now, when I was here the last time, Natasha said that I should try and make a basket for sweets for Halloween. Yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah. This is my sweetie basket. Wow, I mean, that's... Which is why I'll never be thin. Diabetes induced. Exactly. That and then I made a more practical one <laughs> as well. Now the pattern of this and for the bags and for the quilt are in a little compendium pattern that we've put on the website. Thank you, Gemma. Thank you, SJ. Thank you, Joshua. Um, so those are available. Did you say it was $7.99? I believe so. I think the, it's $7.99. For, the, for the, the triple threat. The triple threat. <laughs> but now what is really interesting is... With no what, Gerald. There isn't a lining in my storage basket, but I'm going to show you how to make the storage basket. Um, the pattern says use wadding. Wadding works absolutely perfectly, just uses a normal wadding there. If you do use a wadding, this is what you're going to end up with. And it's, it's still firm, it still stands, it's still absolutely fine. On these, I've used in our form. So that I'm going to show you then. This one specifically I've used in our form because I wanted to make sure that it was stable and stands. Now you've got the in our form on the website as well, don't you? Have we, have we still, or did you take it back? I think you've still got some on. Okay. Uh, the last time I checked, you did. Okay. Oh, that's fine then. In our form and Styleville fix are the same they're, stuff. They're pretty both much. basically going to do the same. Yeah. The same kind of. Because all it was is, especially when you're making a bag like this, it, or a box like this, is that I wanted it to be sturdy. Because yeah. what is really handy is if you're coming to Natasha and you want all your Halloween stuff in one bag and one basket, oh, you literally that. just do that. Now, it doesn't have to be Halloween. You can even put the horrible Gerald in as well. <laughs> but the great thing with these is because they are firm on the side, you can use these as UFO bags. You can use these to put your fat quarters in. I think Natasha would notice if I put this in. Can I just show this? Oh, oh my. <laughs> my discreet. I think Natasha might notice if that flames. goes in the bag. But <laughs> I'm just going to put my bag next to it to give you an idea of just how much you can get in there. That's amazing. How many meters are those? Huh? How many meters are here? Uh, Lots. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Like two and a half meters per bundle, and they're quite. Every few. time I come here, I want to steal things, but I won't. <laughs> I will just buy them because I, mean, I don't need them. But anyway, <laughs> but they're really good storage baskets, which I thought was really good. And the good thing is the pattern is identical, whether you are making a teeny tiny toony one, and you're using in our form, or you're making a one with using normal wadding. They're identical. The design and how you make it is identical. There is no difference in how you do it. Oh, these are great. And they're great for they're tidy so ups simple as well. And as well. Now, if you're putting a lining in it as well, the great thing with the lining, because I am going to show you how to do the lining on this one. Remember as well, you can use plastic PVC. So if you're going to use chocolate or anything that's going to have anything that could be mucky, just for you, instead of using fabric for your lining, just use the clear um clear or uh, glittery PVC. It works really, really I've well. Got to, I've got to count that up. We do have some. Hang on. I did check with Gemma. She said that you did. So. We do have some. Yeah, I just haven't, haven't counted <coughs> up how much we've got left. So this one, oh, I've look. done the PVC. And it's a bit of a pain to get out, but it's a lot easier to wipe clean than it is to wash the whole product. 
So actually this one I did use wadding, sorry. So this is a wadding one as well. But we're going to make it now using the in R form. But the method is identical in the pattern, whether you are using the in R form or the wadding. So that's a good thing. Oh, there's my little bag of polyver caterpillars. Do you want some? <gasps> I'm going to hit more to you can tell this is not going to go well. I was never on the netball team. One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was definitely my fault there. It's all right, it didn't hit the cat, by the way. That's fine, that's fine. The so there we go, Colin the caterpillars have been handed out. So this one I did, it was 11 and a half inches square, so these work out to 11 inches. You can make them, I think the NR form goes to about 14 inches. Do you remember how wide the NR form is? Just the lady, hello. Did I hear the word Colin the caterpillar? Yes, oh, you did. Hello. Yes, do you want some? I love it, Jen has heard the word Colin the caterpillar. Oh, no, I found them in the bottom of my bag. Season. <laughs> um, yes, we do have your in our form. Do you know how wide it is? No, it's a package, but I will. I think it's 18 inches. Perfect. Gemma is amazing. So She's going to pop it in the feed. But she does need a collar and a caterpillar in order to do that. And Natasha is staring at me over her glasses, which means I've done something wrong. No, no, no. Which no. I'm ignoring. La, 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 la. I would just like to say, I thought I would do, like, try and look intelligent this morning. <laughs> you look fabulous. Can I just say, you have been wearing the most glamorous, um, kimono-esque type things of late. Oh, looking okay. fabulous. Thank you, thank you, darling. Now, anyone who's <laughs> using the NR form, there's a soft, smushy, wonderful side, and then there's like a lumpy, plasticky bit. This is the bit that's got the glue on it, and it is so hard to use, okay? Take the gluey side, put your fabric on the top of it. It doesn't matter which round, because it's a square. There you go. And you just take your iron. Make sure your iron's nice and warm. Oh yeah, it might need to, uh, I don't know how this one works. Like it cuts off so that I don't. Um... We'll just let that go for a bit. It will, yeah. Now I the one thing I will say is bit, please yeah. make sure that you've cut your fabric bigger than the NR form. Um, on here, I think I'm okay, but it's Natasha's iron, so I don't care. That's no fine. response, no response. And all you're doing is this is the, the gluey side here and you're gonna just press down the fabric onto the NR form to make sure that it fuses. And just hold it for five, 10 seconds in each section. Don't move your iron around, you don't need to. Just adhere it first and then just move it down as you go. You just wanna make sure that the fabric adheres to it. And I would just suggest every iron's different. So you can see that hasn't quite taken it on the edges there. So you just hold it down. If you're worried in any way, shape or form, just whack a, a Teflon pressing sheet. I promise sheet. I'm the right side. Oh, I, that, that's the other thing, isn't it? Generally, I forget and do it on the wrong side and stick it to my mouth. We've all done it. We've all done it. And the thing is, just take it slowly, because as your irons are all different and they come to different heats, there you go, you can see that that's now fused on nicely. This bit's fine. There's a tiny little bubble. If you do get a bubble, that's totally normal. All you do is you just take your iron on the other side of the bubble and push the bubble out. It happens to all of us. And then just break that open and repress down, and that goes from there. So do you prep all of these <coughs> first before you do anything else? Yep, you just cut everything the same size. You're getting five squares exactly the same size. That's for your inner form and your fabric. And then the lining is uh, five, uh, four, five squares, also the same size. And then you're just doing your binding as well. And your binding is two and a half inches. But these bags are really quick and easy to make. I've been really impressed with them. And the good thing is you can do them for seasonal things as well, for like Christmas, if you've got a Christmas guest coming, if you were going to, we're trying to all be a little bit less wasteful. You can do your Christmas presents in these. I Emily can do a, have a big one if you like. <laughs> for all of her gifts. Many, many gifts. Crikey. That girl's got it sus, doesn't she, eh? Quite right, though. But, I mean, I, yeah... Uh, she's she's got a good idea. She really has. Morning, Helen. Morning, Karen. Morning, Jacqueline. Oh, morning, Elizabeth. Morning. I hear rumblings. Is that? Oh, the uh, I think you've got naughty down there. 
Hello. Is he hiding under your quilt? Oh, I think he's coming to... OK, you'll be comfy there. Oh, I've got this little <laughs> head sticking out of my <laughs> Halloween quilt. Please don't climb my Halloween quilt. That took quite an effort to get on there. <laughs> he would be falling quite soon. It's not... I do... I did find a hammer though, didn't I? I did manage to like. You did. I was very impressed. Yeah. Wow, you know. some masking tape and a hammer and a nail appeared. I mean, you know, you know, I've got all the DIY skills. Oh, Elizabeth says that my packing sounds like another scale for a holiday with horses and children. Do you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. How does one pack for that? That's the question. Well, also because the horse that's coming with me is the horse that's allergic to being a horse um, and allergic. Sorry, did to you say allergic to being a horse? Yeah, he's basically okay. allergic to most types of grass. <laughs> <laughs> Which doesn't make life easy. Most, most type of grass. Most type of grass. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he right. has that really special grass. Uh, only I could find one like that. I mean, it took some searching, right? So, um, yeah. But my, my local friendly farmer is going to throw in a huge bale of hay into the back of the lorry first. Fabulous. Oh, Heather's retiring from farming next year. Oh, fab. Um, I'm sure my husband will let me... Oh, hang on, hang on. This is like swapsies. This is awesome. Um, <coughs> will let me swap out a tractor for Oodles of K fabric. Done. 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 And the great thing is you can bring the tractor and then you can just take the tractor back with you to take the K facet home and then you can drive the tractor home. Perfect. Now, we're going to do something called a Y seam. I know all of you have just inhaled your own feet. Breathe. Y seams are so, 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 so easy. Why are we Y seaming? Because what we're wanting to do is we're going to stitch down here to be able to make the sides of the box, which are over here. But we also then need to stitch the bottom in. So we need that extra quarter of an inch down the bottom in order to manipulate the fabric ah. to be able to work. Now, I do suggest if your machine has got a locking stitch, do one at the beginning and at the end of your quarter inch. If you don't have a locking stitch, that is fine. Now, my little baby Janome here is fabulous and it literally stitches through all of it. If you want to use your locking, your walking foot, please go ahead. I did find if you're going to use the plastic, you are going to need a Teflon foot because that was an absolute nightmare to push through the machine on a normal sewing machine um, needle that, uh, on, the, on the normal sewing machine foot. And I do increase my stitch length. I'm moving mine to 2.7. You don't need to. It's up to you. Know your sewing machine as you go. Uh oh. Come on. Oh, that does not sound ideal. I think she just hasn't had her morning coffee. I mean, I know how she feels. She is stitching well. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, Fiona says, sorry for the late registration. It's okay. It's okay. Claire was demonstrating how to do some binding yesterday and completely forgot. We've all been there. Yep. We've all been there. I refer so you to So now, as you, sorry to interrupt, you can see on. I'm getting towards the very bottom there. My machine has a needle down option. So I'm putting that and now I'm doing my locking stitch. And it's important to do a locking stitch or a back stitch because... You, when you start putting the base on, you're going to put a lot of pressure. There we go. You're going to put a lot of pressure. Sorry about that. When you start folding this up, you're going to put a lot of pressure on it. So having that little extra support on the locking stitch there makes it easy. But what we've done is we've now created the start of your square. Beautiful. Now, I would suggest to you that you lay it out like this because you can see over here... If I catch that right, I might be able to sort of pattern match, or you're going to have a six-legged cat. So I think I might move that over there. We don't want a six-legged cat. I'd rather have a, a random cat <laughs> like that. I'd rather have that. So put that there. And again, always remember which way is up and which way is down. I always start at the top and stitch down, only because the number of times you've done it and you sew it upside down like that, and it looks weird. <clears throat> I mean, and you've got your quarter inch then at the top, not the bottom, which is not what you need. What is more weird, a six-leaded cat or, you know, upside downy stuff? Oh, uh, Kerry says, do we have any videos on how to bind a quilt? I can't seem to find one that shows how to do it properly. That's the last bit that gets me. Do you know, if we, she we waits, will have some somewhere. Jane's done Jane one. Jane must have done one. But are you, gonna, are you about to I was going to say, if you want, I'm about to... My, my quilting machine, I'm saying this tentatively, is working. 
Oh, okay. I did one quilt last week and it worked fine. So well, I'm going to do two more. Large cave one. No, no, it, your because I'm not putting cave <laughs> on my machine <laughs> until it is a hundred percent. Has she been misbehaving? I have sixty-nine quilts in my list to do, of which you are one of them, and I'm mortified. Wow. But the well, good thing is, it'll come to your. Your be, premises. Yeah, I didn't know whether I was allowed to say as I said that. I was like, oh, I don't know if I can. No, no, no. Everybody knows you're moving. It's fine. <gasps> it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be really exciting. Um, Angela says, morning, Natasha and John. May I say, you're both looking fabulous this morning. Oh, darling, yeah. have you been to Specsavers? <laughs> Natasha's looking fabulous. <laughs> I'm just looking like I've just moved house and been very stressed. Now, hang on. Tell us about the house Oh, move. my God. It is so beautiful. I am was it worth all the stress? Uh, uh, without question. And my husband... I do not know what I did in a previous life because it certainly wasn't th wasn't in this life. He is the most phenomenal human being ever born. What he has done in three days in that house is it's nothing short of a miracle. He oh. is amazing. What what has he done? Everything he's oh. unpacked. He's had all the because he, he first of all when we did you just point? I always just point. <laughs> Don't I, darling? <laughs> <laughs> if Andrew Thompson comments, that's him. Oh, really? No, yeah. Do you know what? He hasn't yet. He's kept himself no, quiet. No, he's, he's in busy work mode today. But no, he's been absolutely phenomenal. Not only did he pack the whole house up to start with, he also then um, has unpacked it as well. And it looks spectacular. It really, really? does. Have you got to do much decorating? I think every house you move into, you've got to do stuff. There's always that. But it's a case of, uh, I'm afraid there is no money. <laughs> Because when you move house, it's extortionately expensive. Yeah, it is, isn't it? But, but you know, you, it'll come. Your, but if it's your life at uh, Hope's exactly. Life, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take never, time, they you? will take me out of that house in a box. Right, we've got four of them in a row, like that. Oh, um, four of them in a row, but now we have to make it a square. Oh. So we're going to take it and we're going to do that. And we're going to sew them together there. Look at you doing 3D stuff. There was you. I can't do bags. I can't do things like that. You're frowning. What's the matter? I was trying to remember if I was doing it the right way around, but it doesn't matter <laughs> which way around you do it because you turn it around. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore me. You know when you write a pattern and you think, how did I say you did it? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jess, this morning, oh, do love this range. Spotted locally on Saturday. The colours and designs are gorgeous. That dark periwinkle blue is divine. And then we've got a little bat. Um, Jess, I know that you are a huge fan of the Lewis and Irene. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jane and I have also not had our morning coffee as Jane cannot find it in the kitchen. Oh, the tea is missing too. No, 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 it's it's in there. Yeah, you see, I've started taking stuff across already. Oh, um, my God, not the coffee. That's the last No, 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 the go. coffee is... Um, Jem will be listening. Jem, the coffee is in the elephant tin um, next to the kettle and the tea is in the tea caddy in the tea drawer. Oh, OK. I know, I know, I know. We normally have, like, big industrial... Quite right. ...stuff, but that's gone. Now, if you're making this with your... Um, in our form on the outside or your fabric on the outside, make sure you are consistent. Could we Do not just have move that a box there. Out the way. We've got many a box. Sorry. Thank you. That's right. Um, if this is all in our form, make sure that the in our form is on the top. If you're doing it the other way with the fabric, which you can do as well. No, you can't because you have to do it this way. Never mind, ignore me. Make sure that you've got all the in our form. Don't do that because you're just going to end up with in our form on the base over there, which is not what you want. So what we've done over here is you can see we've got our little quarter inch gap over there and we've got our little quarter inch gap over there. So what you're going to do, now this is manipulation, okay? You're going to have to just go with it. Your fabric, because you've done the locking stitches on the edges, is very, very strong. You will be fine. And if it unpicks, that's absolutely fine. You can go back and add some stitches. But what you're looking to do is to add your base in line with the bottom of the square over there. But you're not stitching from the end. You're stitching a quarter of an inch in. So you're officially doing a Y seam. You've got this. You can do it. <laughs> And if you can't, blame Natasha. Uh, I mean, people do, generally, oh. and I'm quite comfortable with that. Oh, that's the iron telling you that you haven't played with it enough. Oh. So, um, it doesn't... It doesn't I feel like I need more. to move this closer. Um, no. I can move the camera if you'd rather. Would you mind? Yeah, we were just too busy chatting, that's all. That's my excuse. Chat, chat, chat. I'm using it. I've got to move the many balloons out of the way because, you know... Emily! <laughs> To be fair, even if you move them, I'm not sure you're going to see a lot. 
So what I've done is I've just l simply lined up. There we go. There you go. I mean, that was smooth, wasn't it? That no, was really, no one, really good. <laughs> no one would notice that, So right? all I've done is I've <laughs> just moved my needle a quarter of an inch in from the end. So this is the end part of the fabric here. My needle is just a quarter of an inch in. And then I'm going to drop my needle down and I'm going to do my locking stitch there. Come on. And when the locking stitch is finished, I'm just going to stitch until I'm a quarter of an inch away on this side over here. And just take it slow. There's no rush. You don't need to rush at all. <laughs> Julia says, wow, got notification of shipment on its way at 9.39 and it's just arrived. Less than an hour. Brilliant. No way. Um, yeah. That's the service. <laughs> It's like Postman Pat and his special delivery. He only has one thing to deliver a day, and he generally it. does it by helicopter. Now, I've been playing a lot of um, Bob and Bob Roulette of late. Oh, I think Bob I got chicken, four inches there. So I was really pleased with that. Now I can do this. Oh, Mary says good morning, both Hi, of you. Hi, Mary. Lovely to see you, John. Love oh, the shirt. Thank Great you, darling. Workshop. Well, I got challenged yesterday, you see. I needed something bright and colourful. Well, the good thing about the new house is we've got all the shirts in the wardrobe. Have you got a walk-in wardrobe? Uh, of course, darling. Of yes. course you have. Um, does it rival I, I don't want, like I don't, the Kardashians? Oh, God, I wish. No, 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 no. They've got like, ha they, they, their closets are the same size as my house. I'm very happy with my literally corner under the eaves. It's probably no bigger than this table. But I'm okay with that because it's mine. Well, do you know what? And, it's and Andrew has colour-coordinated all the shirts. It's a beautiful thing. Honestly, I, I, I truly think that if I could actually um, clone him, we'd be trillionaires. There'd be a market for that. Oh no, he's the best cool. husband in the entire world. And I've always said to him, if I ever die, he's got one year of hard mourning and everybody I know needs to send that man a bachelor because he's not going to sit at home and be miserable for the rest of his life. He must share the love. He you're must. Not, you're not planning. But I want a year of hard mourning oh. and I ain't going anywhere. I've got too many quilts to do. Has he got like a black department for his shirts, you know, like a, like Victorian morning where they have to go in? Oh, no, no, no. And then they gently, I won't allow gently it. come out. Oh, of no, and I must be the only person in the world. If anybody wears black at my funeral, I will haunt them. I want the most colourful. And if, if all my friends know if they die, if they die. Oh, I'm a busy person. I don't mind. Um, I've always said to people, if they die as well, I have a funeral outfit. And it's um, the most colourful thing in the history of the universe. If you die, that's what you get. I'm not wearing black to any funerals. So there we go. I've now done a quarter of an inch in there, a quarter of an inch there. Should we show it? There you go. So there's my nice. quarter inch over here. You can see it folds in and over here. So what I'm going to do is it doesn't matter which way around you'd go because you've got to do all, all of them as well. You then manipulate the fabric. Where are you, where are you manipulating it? Can you manipulate it? There, uh, we, go. there, there we, go. we go. So you've got to line the end of this up with the end of that and the end of this with the end of that. And once you've got that all manoeuvred, because remember you've got your quarter inches where you've got to move all the fabric around, you can see the quarter inch will allow you to now stitch all the way along. Uh, so you'll, you'll start with your quarter inch there, quarter inch there and you'll then be able to have stitched everything into place. Beautiful. Remember to do your locking stitches at the beginning and the end. It Jeanette just says, um, I am excitedly waiting for my Creative Grids Big Easy ruler from me. Oh yeah. Ooh. Am I sad? Is that the new, which one is that one? Oh, it's the new one. The, t uh, the t uh, 12 and a half by 24 and a half. Yeah. That is a beautiful little ruler, it that one. It is a beautiful ruler. She says, am I sad getting excited about a ruler? If you're sad, Jeanette, then the rest of us are as well. That's all I have to say on that All one. I'll say is you're going to be sad with good company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, some men need husband classes, said Claire. Um, I do Lisa think that that's... Them. Oh, no, he's amazing. Thing? What, husband classes? Yeah. I don't think it would be a bad thing. Do you think there's a market? Well, I think... I think it's important to recognise certain people will never change. Mm. And that's okay. You love them for a reason. <laughs> or not. Oh, one of these. Hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. My wardrobe goes from black across to white. Shoes too. Ooh. Is that OCD or organised? Elizabeth, you Whatever it is, it it's perfect. Whatever you want. 
I, I don't mind, but just could someone come and do it to my wardrobe because it's not like <laughs> that. Um, Myra says, just received my quilt builder card deck. Thank you. Myra, all I can say <gasps> is... Quilt builder, I, they're um, all back in stock now, aren't they? Do you know, I was so cross with the supplier because yeah. they made it sound like they had loads. And so we supplied them and then they didn't. And then it's taken all these months. So there, there were a whole load of you that cancelled and I completely understand why. Um, and I can only apologise. But yeah, they do appear to be back. So for those of you that stuck it out and believed that we would finally get it to you, we finally got it to you. It, but not in like postman pat special delivery time <laughs> i've got to be honest <laughs> that but that was an impressive one that one absolutely absolutely i tell you whose wardrobe i would be interested to see how it's organized and that's our karen All those oh really hmm. how would you organize those i don't know thing is i'm not a a dress kind of a guy firstly <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I the mean, colourful shirt side of things, <laughs> the colourful shirt side of things, I um, I just think you just do it how it brings you joy and you walk in and you do it. Now the last one, you've actually got a bit of a, when you get to the last side, you can just sew off the end there, all the way to the end there, because okay. you don't need the quarter inches, you've done it, so you just sew all the way down that line there. And it does take a little bit of manipulation if you are using the NR form, but it is so easy. You just, and the machine is so good and so strong. It doesn't matter what machine you've got, you will be fine getting it through. you just got to not be scared of it. Exactly. You just tackle it. Um, Sue says, my brother didn't allow black for anyone but me at his funeral. I was allowed a black skirt as he said it was slimming on me. Oh, oh. I'm but sorry I had you to lost wear your his brother. Fuchsia top. Oh, I'm sorry you lost your brother, that's horrible. I've lost mine as well, it's not easy. But, you know, you've got to do what's bringing joy for all of you. That, that, that sounds like some planning there as well. Exactly. And really thoughtful. Exactly. Um, Donny says, good morning, Tasha and team. Lovely John. Oh, and lovely John. Love the spooky fabric. Um, watching with my 10 and 3-year-old while trying. Uh, hey, look, they'll love that fabric. Now, what I always say to people is make sure you check. Over here, I've drifted down a bit. Oh, there we go. So I've drifted down a bit over here. You can see that that's not a quarter of an inch. That's I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to do a quarter of an inch there to catch it. Because I guarantee you, if anybody is coming into your sewing room with a ruler to test the size of your seams... I can pretty much guarantee you I will be chasing them out with a ruler. So well... <laughs> to do that. You're kinder than I am. Um, Karen says, my wardrobe isn't colour coordinated, but it could do with an extension, I bet. I think we all could. Now, all I've done there, as you see, I've just stitched a new line over there, and that is all that's going to do. But do go through. Now, remember, if you have made something a little short, you are not a bad person. You are not a bad quilter. It happens. You can see I've done it again over here. That's just a tiny little bit that too small. I'm just going to go around and do it before you turn it round, only because it just adds that little bit extra strength to your box. I'm not suggesting that you're going to be keeping really heavy things in here, but just do it before you turn it round. But if it's got trick or treat sweets in, you know, it's Well, yeah, you need it to be a little bit protect. Oh, a little we've bit. got our Sarah Payne with us this morning. She says, Oh my God! Did I tell you what happened? What happened? So, I was sitting at the Festival of Quilts with my dear friend Nettie, and I sat down and I looked up, and there was this vision of divineness, and I was like, Oh, yes, Sarah Payne! And she says, Really? <laughs> She's just so fabulous. So I met her at Festival of Quilts so unexpectedly. And she's like, you're John Carl Morgan. I'm like, oh my God, she knows my name. It was so sweet. And she is such a lovely person. And literally then she says, oh, come and sit with us. So I came and sat with her. I'm not joking. We'd been there eight seconds. And she's like, where's my bag? She lost her bag. Oh, no. So I then immediately went to one of the, or the VIP organizers' desk at Festival of Quilts. You need anything. VIP desk right there. You just say the celebrity. Sarah Payne has lost her bag. And she says, yeah, it's in the security room. Immediately. She was running around like this. It's like, security room, aisle seven. It was done, found in 10 minutes. She hadn't had it for two hours. Two hours? Two hours. I was so Sarah? proud of her. Well, I found her in the gin bar. I'm saying nothing. I did. Dude, I'm, so shopping, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. It's not good shopping. Now, all you're doing now is you just turn it inside out. It's really, 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 really simple. And you can use a purple thang to turn it out. You can use your finger. You can use a pair of scissors, chopstick, coffee stick, whatever. Just try and get the corners out as far as you can get them. 
And if they don't go out very far, that doesn't matter. There you go. You've got your base. That's you done. That's it there. Now, we're going to do this with lining. So you will find I now have, hopefully, one, two, yes, yay. I have got five pieces of fabric over here to make my inner. You're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to sew this one together like that in a row of four. But because this is the bottom, whoops, because this is going to be the base of it, you're going to not stitch a quarter of an inch there. So this one you can go either way down. I always start at the top, sew down to a quarter of an inch. And I leave them like that, just that way, then I can always remember which way around I'm going. And then a quarter of an inch all the way down. But I have to say, I thought Sarah was lovely before, but then meeting her, she's even more lovely in real life. Yeah, she says you can't keep a secret, John. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no, she's amazing though. Honestly, I just sat there and she's more charismatic in real life. And the shoes and the whole outlook, oh, the outfit and everything. She is just fabulous. We love our Sarah. Uh, she said, yeah, it was the gin. I mean, yeah. So what? Yeah, Pam says all the best people are found in the gin bar. Now, you see, Lewis and Irene always used to be next to the gin bar. They were. And that was, that was always how no, we used were. to find Lewis and Irene. It was really quiet though. It really was. It was lovely. Um, and... Um, yeah, in fact, yeah. It I'm was lovely. It was one of the best festivals I've done. I'm so glad I went. I know you were in two minds. I was. And I was just, you know what, I think everybody is nervous at the minute because we've been told for a year and a half, stranger danger, but someone's going to kill you. And, you know, and it is, you know, we have been told that absolutely everybody's going to murder you because they're just going to breathe on you and that'll be the end of your life. Or you'll, they'll breathe on you and then you'll kill an old person. You know, and it's hard to kind of get that voice out of your head. And it's just, it's change. It's new. But they did it really, really well. The whole team I did really amazingly. I really hope that they keep the, the space again. Yeah. Because you could get a better look at everything that was mounted mm, on the walls. It really kids, was lovely. And actually the kids had a really nice time as well. Because oh they God, could they You could know that when you were there, around. I was doing yoga you were doing at the yoga? handy quilter thing when you were there with the kids. No, were you? Oh, oh my God, it was the you. funniest thing ever. I had a... When I was at the, there on the Friday... Um, Liz and Pete from Handy Quilter. Liz came to me and she says, oh, are, you, are you free tomorrow morning at nine o'clock? I said, I'll be in my bed asleep. Why? She says, because Kafe Stewart uh, and, all, and a few other Handy Quilter people are coming to do yoga. Will you be there? And I'm like, do yoga with Kafe Fassett. I'm there. He didn't turn up. And oh. nor did Stuart either. So I was like, they okay. But it was so funny because she went around and she says, and this is John Cole Morgan. And I looked at her and said, Liz, why am I here? And I'm sitting on a yoga mat in a not so flattering yoga outfit. And then they proceeded to do yoga around me. It was hysterical because I can barely touch my toes sitting down. And there I am doing a yoga class. It was, it's very <laughs> funny. Check out the handy quilt to page on that. Wow. And you had no idea that, that was all going to no. kick off. Amazing. Um, but that was, it was good that I knew that Kafe wasn't there because he was with you. He was with me. Which yep. I was so pleased about. That, I'd, yep. that I could get, live with. So what you've done now is you've sewn all four pieces together and the bottom bit has got this little extra quarter inch bit on the corner here. Shall we? Oh, hang on. Uh, where are we going? Oh, do you know what? Actually, talking of that, that got goes, that, that filming with Cave. Yeah. That goes it's out on, on Monday. Monday. I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm only just catching up and realising. Well, I, I don't know what day of the week, month, or anything is. I'm really confused at the moment. It's Monday. But yeah, so that Monday. will go out on, on Monday. So this is your bottom piece over here. This is your bottom piece over here. And all you're doing is you're lining that up with this side and this side. And again, you're sewing a quarter inch in to a quarter inch in to do the base over here. Oh, Laurie bumped into, into you on Saturday she afternoon. She did. Ah. You see, normally Laurie and I bump into each other in the gym bar. Oh, she's there. so lovely. I love Laurie. Oh, and Jen met you at festival as well. I know. I was very, very. I was so nice to meet so many different people. It was lovely. <laughs> uh oh, I'm scared now. <laughs> John, Co J. Cole Morgan, yoga, honey. I'm sure you had a lie down, says Nettie. <laughs> Seriously, go and watch it because literally. Okay, hang on, I hang on, hang on. It was filmed as well. 
So what I did was, <laughs> did I, thought, I thought, oh my God, I'm good. I can't do this. I can't. And then I thought, well, at least when I can't do something, I'm going to be really outrageously funny. So I brought a quilt <laughs> and I brought a blanket and a pillow. And as they started doing the yoga classes, I pulled my blanket out and my quilt out. And I just lay on the floor <laughs> under my quilt as everybody did their yoga class. Oh, <laughs> It is really good. So if you watch the, um, what date was the festival? On oh. the Saturday, was it the 31st or the 30th? Yeah, end of June. Go and check out the uh, live feeds on Handy Quilters, uh, Pinhole Quilters page. Oh it was God. really good fun. And the thing is, I was there with Chris English, who's doing the full on yoga. And you know, Venda, oh, Ven, do Ven who does that, who was best in show, yeah. she's on my other side and she's got like one leg up there and the other one over there and they're in different. And I was like, what am I saying? <laughs> it was just like, okay, I'm, um, I don't think they've cast this very well. <laughs> but it was really good fun. And now exactly the same thing on these sides here, quarter inch in, quarter inch in, and we're just stitching down that side there. So this lining bit is not in my pattern because some people don't want their baskets lined, some people do. But it's effectively exactly the same It's exactly the same thing. You're just making it twice, and then mm -hmm. I'll show you what you're going to do when you've... Um, do we need to leave a turning it. through gap anywhere? Nope. Oh. Because this just slots in, and then you catch it in the binding. Oh, you've got to bind it. Well, perfect. Perfect. She wasn't expecting that. Well, you know, everyone's got different ways, haven't they? It's fabulous. I've had to do a lot of research for this and my next bag, which I'm very excited about, my well, own little is, pouchy bag thing. This is the thing, isn't it? You know, uh, you, I fully respect you for this because I know that you had the fear of the 3D. You know, yep. quilts, absolutely no problem at all for you, but 3D, oof. It is doing? a little daunting, but now that is exactly what this was before you turned it around. So if you're going to do a lining, you just take it with fabric. If you want to do interfacing on it, that's fine. You don't need it. If you want this to be plastic like this for my um, Halloween toy thing that you're going to have with sweets, do that. Just remember to use your Teflon foot because it does get a bit sticky. You could have that as a plant holder exactly. as well. Exactly. You and you literally just take this. Now remember, you've got to leave it exactly as you've just finished sewing it. And all you do is you drop it in. You drop it into your bag. Now, I am not a pin user, but I do think it is important that you do use pins on this. Pins or clips? Um, I've been using pins, but I actually think, actually, as you said that, I think maybe clips is a good idea. You know, you're very welcome to use the hippo clip. I just want to put my mouth in, my hand in the middle of your hippo's <laughs> mouth. It's like hungry hippo for adults. It's well, great. you see, in South Africa, <laughs> hippos are terrifying because they kill more, th more people they than do, anything. Don't they? They're, They're really, really scary do. little animals. This one's tame and fine. It's part of my weird and wonderful set menagerie. <laughs> Along with the French speaking um, octopus. Oh, hold me around. You watch my teacher as an octopus. The documentary on Netflix. Oh. So brilliant. Just, I mean, I, I think I wept throughout most so of it. So brilliant. It was phenomenal. Really was. Did you watch Seaspiracy yet? No, I'm scared to. Don't, yeah. I like seafood. I know. So I'm a bit like, oh. It's terrible, especially if you like salmon. Don't watch it. Oh, really? I can't eat salmon again. Oh, no, don't Ever. Tell me that. And I love salmon. Right, so um, I have just put two cli uh, one clip onto each corner there where they're, all, where they're ready to go. Now the binding, many of you who want to see how to make binding, I just cut two and a half inch strips. Because I was making a lot, this wasn't a full width of fabric piece. So if you want to make binding, you've got your two little bits there. You put them at right angles there. And what you're going to do is effectively fold that in half and you're going to stitch on that line over there. And let me stitch it and I'll show you what I mean. Now my... I have done this maybe 600,000 million trillion times. Not that I exaggerate at all. Well, I mean once or twice, right? So what you're looking to do is you're looking to sew from corner to corner, from there to there, okay? And once you've done that, you trim it off or cut it off about a quarter of an inch away, just like you would with any seam. 
and just trim the little excesses off here. And you then have got, uh, you can't really tell where the join is when you put the binding on. Now I just want to make sure I've got enough to go all the way around, and I do. My iron has gone to sleep again, so I'm hoping... You, yeah, you just need to give it a waggle and it'll reactivate. Oh, Carrie says, Sea Spirity was a fab documentary. If I wasn't vegan before, I would have been after this. Yeah, it was. You see? And I'm not even a vegan, but I did struggle with that show. I really did. I didn't like the way, you know, I, I think documentary filmmakers have got a terribly difficult job in the best of times. But that one I really struggled with because I just felt like I was being spoon-fed the whole way. Which I understand, you know, you've got to, do, everybody does things differently, but it was a very eye-opening show. Mm, yeah, it's, it's on my really not sure I want to watch list. And all I've done now is I've folded my two and a half inch piece of fabric in half and I've just stitched, uh, pressed it to be able to get it in half. So you've now got two layers of fabric in one place, ready to go. Beautiful. Oh, Elizabeth says, if you don't have a Teflon foot now in Chowchi Outer Capitals, um, I saw a video of factory workers putting the slightest smear of Vaseline on the plastic Ooh. they were stitching. I wouldn't risk it on a new machine. The travel, yes. I mean, Vaseline and fabric. What could what go? What could possibly wrong? go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> now, I consider myself to be a reasonably good binder. Okay, I think you need to make the decision now before you do this. Are you going to try and do that triangular um, seam when you put the binding on, or are you going to accept a straight line binding? I'm going to give you a clue, except the straight line binding. Life is too short. Life is a very short thing in this world. And I'll show you how I've done that. And all I've done now is I'm simply putting the clip on. And I don't usually use clips. So this is a new thing for me. I will give it a go. There we go. I guess, yeah, because you are predominantly quilter. Yeah. Clips I very are rarely use clips and I very rarely, yeah, very rarely use pins either. Oh, Ali says that I cover mine with a Bacco sandwich wrap, which tears off afterwards. Oh. Bacco Baco. I guess it's like bacon, isn't it? Baco. Now, at the end over here, you'll see that's my beginning bit. Right. This is going to be my end bit. Right. So I'm going to go about an inch past that because I am not even going to attempt to do the that isn't going to work but i'm going to give it a go no. <gasps> oh hello oh they're my paper ones oh so, i know. don't care they're they're shiny <laughs> shiny right so what you're looking to have is that it's going to look like that okay and then we'll do some manipulation when we get to that point but basically what you're going to do is you're going to fold this in half and you're going to finger press that in line and then you will just envelope that in there. And then you just stitch that into place. Because what you're going to be doing is you will have this sort of dead end join, but it's a hell of a lot easier. If you want to do the traditional putting the right angles together, get your diagonal seam, go right ahead. Best of luck to you. Keep me posted on how it goes. <laughs> I'm not that good. Right, so you're literally now going to, so you've put the lining in, you've got it all clipped on, you've got your binding on the outside, which is going to hide the top, and all you do now is you just stitch a quarter of an inch all the way around the top there. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, nothing, it's only live. <laughs> Never, I have utter faith. Oh yeah, I tell everything you what could go wrong. I could forget to actually change the camera. <laughs> that would be. So no you can't see, see anyway. anything. You can just see my <laughs> orange bottom, really. Well, it does help if you remember Nothing what a quarter. Nothing to see here, just John's orange bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make sure I use my needle down position as well. And this one, go slowly. There is no rush. <laughs> Oh, Elizabeth's got a, a sort of a Sophie's Choice scenario going on in her house. Buy it. Because John is hoovering. It's noisy, but you can't really ask him not to. Just turn us up. Oh, yeah, okay. Just turn our volume it. up. 
Yeah. He you won't hear it because he's vacuuming. It's all fine. Really simple solution, basically. <laughs> Oh, Julius thinks that your uh, your orange bottom goes well with your shirt. I don't I know try. where the show I is going try. today. I have no idea. I did try. Almost feel like I should just apologise. Oh, random question. This should be good. Oh no, random question alert. Is um is that a gold octopus candlestick holder from G and G? I don't know who G and G are. It didn't come from G and G. Whoever G and G are, so no. Does she mean D and G, Dolce and Gabbana? Um. Not that I have anything from Dolce and Gabbana. Including a, a now, I've record. got a pleat in this, so if you have a pleat at this point, I think you should just give up all form of sewing, send all your fabric stash to Natasha and I, and thank you very much for your service. Oh, I think that's fair. I think that's fair. Yep. Oh, Graham and Green. Who are Graham and Green? Never Is heard there of a them. fabulous shop that I've missed? Hang on, I'm going to move that out of the way. Sorry. That's all right. There's too much stuff it's in the show actually today. It's just a, a good excuse. Now, what I've found as I've been sewing, my quarter inch seam wasn't consistent all the way around. John. So I'm just re-stitching my quarter inch seam all the way around. It's going to be ugly, but you know what? It'll be hidden by your binding. The thing is, it's, it's the same as tapping. Exactly. Effectively. Use the noises and the good thing is, your binding will never bloody come off then. <laughs> Whether you wanted to or not, if you've made an error at this point and you've stitched it twice. <laughs> Sorry! No hope. No hope. <laughs> so there we go. We have now put the binding on. And now I know a lot of you are, again, a lot more talented than I am. You will probably hand stitch your binding in. Really? Oh, there are many who will. There are many like me who won't. So all you do is you just fold that over and then just stitch the binding in place. Now, I don't press these usually, but if you want to, you can press that along, but I don't do that. And all I do is I just fold that in. And now that I've been using clips, I suppose I should carry on. A it's not, you know, essential. It's not, it's not, but I have to say, I think it makes my life a little easier. Because I've never, whenever I've done the binding on this, and it's always looked, um, like it could use a bit of assistance. Well, you can tell I did it, not Sylvia. <gasps> I think that's a, oh, Sylvia does everything. She's amazing. No, no, not the samples. I wish. Don't worry, I'm training. <laughs> I mean, hands, not wands. Right? Exactly. There's only so much that we can do. Exactly. Uh, that's what I like to think. I am suspicious of that cat rustling down there. Is oh, no, sleeping now. Sleeping now. Okay. Oh, do you like your new haircut, by the way, John? Thank you. It's not as good as the one Sylvia gave me, but she told me that that was a one swap. She would never do it again. Well, she's too busy making samples. Well, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, poor woman again, hands not wands, John. Well, she um, adopted a rescue Danif. A rescue what? Danif, cross Dane Mastiff. <gasps> and it's, he's beautiful. He's absolutely gorgeous. He's a handful, bless him, because he's only five, six months old. But he was a rescue. And poor, um, it might be on the Paul O'Grady um, Bassey Dogs Home Show. Oh! Really? which is really cute. He's a lovely dog, bless him. But obviously, you know, you get a new baby, a new animal, they're, they're hard work. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do here, as you can see, I've taken this off here because you want to be able to have a space to be able to slot this in. This is going to take some manipulation. And now, if you are by any way, in any way nervous about potentially using um, your machine to do this top stitching, do it by hand fold it over and tack it in by hand. My life is too short and I have too many projects to make and if I did this by hand on the show, we'd be here until Thursday. Wake up, wake up. I think you have to grip it with love. I mean, or shake it. There you go. <laughs> this is solid light now. I mean, <laughs> whatever works, whatever works. So just gently go through and what your aim is, is you're trying to go identically on sort of stitching in the ditch where you've put the binding on and you just gently manipulate your container as you go along 
Oh, I'm really sorry, John. They did all hear me eating one of the Colin the Caterpillars. That's fine. <laughs> I can discreetly manage that. <laughs> I didn't think Gemma let you had any. No, she she left them here. She didn't. Where yeah. are they? Huh? Where are they? They're just down here. Ooh. Did you not notice the discreet way that no, I, uh, not at all. I moved the boxes no, you didn't out of really. the way? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and it was nothing about it's your like shot. It was just that so you could go and get your thingy. <laughs> Love it. It's all for the greater You can tell you're a mum when you do things like that because you've obviously got to sneak the food in Sneaky without anybody snacking. seeing you. Love it. But I have to say, these 3D things are really special. Um, I have a lady who does um, a lot of work on embroidery machines, and she was showing us how she makes soft toys. All right. <gasps> oh, Are you going to start I doing that now? I love soft toys. Absolutely love them. The scary thing was, is having everything been in storage for so long, I'd forgotten how many soft toys I had. Really? So we've decided they're going in the guest bedroom. Right. That's not going to be scary for anyone. But they're not those scary... Sorry, if you like vintage Victorian dolls, I apologise. Those terrify me because I think that every doll or every animal that's used by a kid kind of has a little bit of them left in it. I well, don't know no whether that's... that scary if no, you it's, it's just kind of that. No, but if you think about it, it's, you look at how much love your kids have for their toys. And I always think that whatever you're using, you always leave a trace of yourself on it. So for me, when you see those 18th century dolls, I just like... Nope. Nope. Oh, good. Oh, Thank you, though. Thank you, though. Exa that is exactly what I feel as well. Oh. That goes on, boys. One. Ah, whoop. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> Glow in the dark storage box. Love that. Hey, you know the big one? I wonder if it would fit in um, like the IKEA box shelf things. Do you have one? Um, I'm coming back. Okay. I'm here. I okay. see your calyx. Oh, Don't trip over it. You sir, right. Um, it does. <laughs> it does. Kerry, she's not the only mum who told their kids that when the ice lolly van played music, it was out of ice cream. <gasps> genius. That is clever. That's really genius. That is... Uh, oh, you just set my printer off. It's fine. Um, Claire says, my childhood bunny went missing the other day. I felt lost. I've found him since. I thought it was one of the kids, Claire. I didn't realise it was your bunny. No, no, I understand that. I do. So this is what it would look like with the NR form in it. And this is what it looks like if you just use wadding. So you can see it's, there's not that much difference in it. Just this stays more stable for longer. And I don't have any six-legged cats. I just look like the cat's head is... So that's our storage basket, and you can tell I hate this pattern. I hate them. And it's, you can make them any size you like. You just need the squares to be the same size and your fabric to be the same size as well. So you can do that in any size. John, you need to ask Gemma about the... Um, Is that in the way there? Yeah, a little bit. Um, about the pattern matching. If you come around there, that you, you get the lure of the Colin the Caterpillar. Well, that's, oh, God. <laughs> that's a mountain of them. I came for one and a whole... And forgot to move the boxes. <laughs> hand only works if you actually do it, John. <laughs> it's great you can't argue you've got a mouth for the Colin. I mean, It's been a very long time <laughs> since I had a mouthful of collar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too scared to drink the water. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> Actually crying. Oh my god, that was the funniest thing you've ever said to me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> right, I'm going to be professional now. <sighs> Out of the way she's cackling, still laughing when I say I'm going to be professional. <laughs> I can't help it. So I tell you what, I found a bit of bamboo <sighs> tarling on the floor. It's ever so useful. Oh my God, that's <sighs> so funny. <sighs> <laughs> I don't have any idea how I'm making this pattern now. <laughs> well, no. I don't think anyone cares after that, John, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my Sarah God. Sarah says, quick, go to a features VT. Oh. If only, if <clears> only. <throat> Oh my god, that was so funny. <laughs> right. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Cass has only just joined in in Australia. Oh, oh. hello Cass, I apologise. It's always like this. <laughs> so I know she missed it. She just found you oh my god. dying of laughter in the corner. Just go back a minute. You'll be fine. <laughs> Might oh. have been two. Oh, now we're going to make little bags. <laughs> little sweetie bags. Now, I thought this should be an Emily bag. <laughs> then I thought this should be an Emily bag. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That should be an Emily yeah. bag. <clears throat> so in the compendium, you will see there are two sizes. You make the quilt exactly the same way. It's only I could remember how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you've been distracted. <coughs> <coughs> oh my goodness You're right, me. You need an inhaler or something. <laughs> oh my god, I think I need something. <clears throat> Oh my god, that's too funny. I do need a tissue. Do you have any tissues? Uh, oh, yeah, we can oh. find some. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Right, so you've got your outer fabric, which are going to be these. You're going to put those right sides together. If it's directional, get them the same way. And you're sewing down that side, down the bottom, and up that way. Quarter inch seam all the way around. Oh my god, that was so bad. Thank you, ma'am. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. This is my favourite thing. <laughs> Who gives a crap? Have you ever have you heard these people? They are amazing. They're really good company they though, are, they do a lot. They are. Oh, the TP Terminator. Love Myra it. Myra says that we're mad. Oh. Yep, we oh. are. Completely approved this message. <laughs> Claire's had the slightly interesting question of, Mummy, why are you laughing? <laughs> um. That John's very funny. Now, forgive me, I apologise. Can I mute myself? No one needs to hear this, sorry. No, that's fine. Oh, oh goodness me. Yeah, Jackie says that's possibly the, you know, <coughs> not the thing to ask you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, <laughs> after that, uh, sorry about that. Right, back in the room, back in the room. <sighs> <laughs> what are we doing? So all we're doing now <laughs> is we're making the bag. On, on oh, the outside goodness. of the bag, you are going to just stitch a quarter of an inch. Oh, can the kitty cat go out? Um... Has she just? Nope, it's standing there looking at the door. I'm scared mm. if I go behind, it'll chase. <clears throat> so all I've done here is I've taken two pieces of fabric, which are my outer fabrics, and I put them right sides together, and then I've sewn down that side, I've sewn down the bottom, and then I've sewn back up that side. Now, before you turn it round, you need to just trim, I might need to go on the overhead for that. On it. There you go. These little corner bits at the base over here, so you've stitched there, there, and there. Just trim these little corner bits off. The only reason you're doing that, do not uh, cut through the stitch line. You're just trying to make it easier to turn the fabric through. So it looks like a bit of a pocket over there. And then all you do is to turn this the right way around. Okay, and it just means that you can then get a pointier bit on the side. <coughs> this fabric is perfect for Oh my God, it's so good for this. And the good thing is, is for when your mm. kids are going out trick-or-treating, if you do get Jan's UV light, I like to think that Jan <laughs> the has a, the CSI light. <laughs> I would like to believe that D Jan does that just because she can. Just because she can. <laughs> then just press that out, and then you're just going to go, and you're going to press this with an iron and make sure that this is as flat as you can get it. What, what is Jan doing because she can? Just... just well, she was the one who suggested it, so I thought, oh, that's a really good idea. But now that you're saying that the CSI lights, I'm like, oh, Jan, <laughs> I'm looking at you in a different light now. <laughs> <The CSI laughs> and I've never been more proud. 
<coughs> oh, I don't think I've laughed so much in ages. Oh, do you know, yeah, I think that has just been the general consensus. <laughs> Without question. <laughs> <coughs> and the thing is, Jo, who works with me, she would never have seen it. <laughs> she doesn't follow me on social media or anything. I love it to bits. Right, so these are your lining pieces of fabric. Again, these are the same size as the tops. And all you're doing here is right sides together. And you're going to stitch down one side. Oh. <coughs> you're going to stitch down one side across the bottom. You're going to leave a two-inch gap. You're going to leave a two-inch gap over there and then start sewing from there up that edge over there. So it's exactly the same as what you were doing on the top. All that's going to happen is you're leaving a two inch gap down the bottom. I do do a locking stitch at the end of, <coughs> at the start and end of that two inch gap, only because you're going to be turning the whole bag through that little section over there. I kind of feel like I need to check with Gemma that I'm doing my pattern right. <laughs> print it off for you. No, so no, you I'm check. sure it's, it's right. Good. It's looking good. I'm sure it's right. If it's not, it's the next bit that you kind of think, well, if I get it wrong, follow the pattern, not me. <laughs> She'll tell us. Yeah. <clears throat> so you saw I've done a locking stitch at the beginning and the end of that gap. And then you just keep stitching along there. And then you turn it round and come up back up the other side. And there we go. Okay. So you've now done those together, but you've got your little hole at the bottom there. I just take these little threads out now. And I do think the locking stitches are so important at the beginning there and at the end. It just makes things that little bit neater. If you don't have a locking stitch, you can just go backwards and forwards. Exactly. Can't you? That's the sure. same thing. Now, <clears throat> on this bag here, you will see I managed to get my fabric the right way around. The right way around there but I got it the wrong way around there. At that point, quit quilting, never sew anything ever again, and send Natasha and I your stash. It doesn't matter. However, if you can get it the right way around, that's brilliant. Now, the trim, which is this little section going on there, this is a little bit trickier to do. So what you're doing is you've got your fabric like that. You're going to turn it round, and you're going to fold this little bit in a quarter of an inch. Okay, you just finger press that for the moment hold it in place and then over here you're going to finger press this a quarter of an inch now I don't know if that's exactly a quarter of an inch you're looking you're going to try that's what you're hoping to do get it to a quarter of an inch you've got two trim pieces so you're going to do that for both of your trim pieces there apologies for sniffing it's Natasha's fault <laughs> Isn't <coughs> Always. Well, it's normally Joe's <laughs> fault, but today it's your fault, without question. And I think the word is followed closely by happily. <laughs> now, you're doing that for both of your trim pieces. You're folding that in on the quarter inch line there. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. And the same on this side here. Now, once you've stitched that, once you've pressed that quarter inch seam in, or as close to a quarter of an inch as you can get, you're then going to top stitch along those press lines on all four of those press sections. And by top stitching, you're literally just going to t um, stitch along the edge there because when this folds in and you've got your thread. At your uh, drawstring pulling against it, you want to make sure that this is stitched down and can't come apart. <clears throat> so this is gonna this is gonna be how it shuts, right? This is gonna be with this little drawstringy bit. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then we go there. Do you need to check the pattern? I'm pretty confused. No, no, honestly, I'm good. Right. I'm 85 percent sure I've got it. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, 85 percent. Nothing could go wrong, <coughs> right could it? Nothing is ever no. certain in this world, is it? <laughs> right. Least of all the pattern you wrote. <laughs> Exa about four hours ago. <laughs> 
So what you're doing there is you now fold this in half, okay? And just finger press that in half, and then you fold this section in half as well. Now this is the important line, because on that line here that I've just folded, that's where you're going to stitch along. Okay, so you've got your, do that again, you've got this stitch side with your um, press sections on the outside. You put the raw edges together over there. You do a little press there. And then all you do is you fold this back up by half. <coughs> and you give yourself a good finger press over there. And we're going to stitch on that line and on that line on both of the trim pieces. Got it. And this is just exactly the same. Big one, small one. Exactly the same. And that's why I wanted to do it on folding, that you could visualize it, because there are two sizes of the bags in the compendium pattern. The methodology is identical. You'll just have bigger pieces for one and bigger pieces for the other. Now comes the tricky bit where you get it in the right way. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> All righty. Now, we want this to be the right way round. I got it wrong, as you can tell. So doing it that way, you can see that's the wrong way round. So flip it round. Now it's right. So that, you fold back onto there. And you know then, when you fold that back out, it's going the same way as this fabric. But I always do this. I always kind of like rehearse it. Yeah. And then, and then work it backwards from there. And, because and my head doesn't, my brain just doesn't think. And in my life, I'll rehearse it, I'll pin it, I'll do it, stitch it, and it'll still be wrong. <laughs> that mean so that that's too. the one, the way I want it to go, and then I'm going to put that there. Okay, so now we've got like a little, uh, we've got the trim, we've got the, the outer section, and we've got the trim. Okay, so that's our little section there. We're going to carry on with the clips today. Just going to hold that in place. And what we're going to do now is we've got our little lining piece that we've made. I'm going to slot the lining inside, sorry, on the outside of this. So I'm putting the outer section and the two trim sections into my lining section. Mental, isn't it? Just mental. It's all good. It's all good. Well, the thing is, it blew my mind when I did it for the first time. I'm like, oh, that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Because I've been researching in all these different books on how you do these things, and it's just so clever. Now, I did find that pins worked a little better on this. So what you also need to remember is when you're stitching this, you're not just going to go and stitch right across, because then you've sealed the whole bag together, and that's not the aim. What you're looking to do is to get the two wrong sides of your outer fabric separated. <coughs> And then you push the trim and the outer fabric together into the outer corner of the lining and just pop a pin in there. And you do the same on this side. And it sounds really peculiar, but when you're actually doing it, you will see exactly what I mean and what it's going to look like and you'll find it works really well. What you're trying to do is to get the seams of the trim as close to the outer seam of the lining, and the outer seam, you're wanting that outer seam there to be in line with the lining seam over here. And that is how it'll work to make it fit. Oh, hang on, Fiona's got to go. She says, I'm so sorry, late to join in the fun and now early to leave. I have to go and play with an adult Meccano and Lego. Um, <gasps> oh. It's a big aircraft. You'll get this because your husband likes this kind he of stuff. He loves that type of stuff. Uh, thank you for the wonderful fun and giggles. What a You're great way welcome. To it's me. lovely to have you and I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, thank you, Fiona. Um, <clears throat> is it just Lego that Andrew likes? Yeah. Or would he, would he have a good crack at some Meccano? Mm, I don't know. I think so. Is it, would it be dangerous to suggest a new... I think we should stick where we are right now. <laughs> Reason being is, obviously now, it's the first time in 15 years of us being together that we're actually going to be able to have everything that we own together in one space. Because um, I had my place in London and then we moved some stuff into the loft, but we've never actually had everything out in one space. Really? In 15 so on, years? So on 
Saturday, I think it was. I can't remember when it was, but I, had a, I did a video of all my espresso cups. How On my 16-seater dining room table, <clears throat> and there wasn't a single inch of table left. Just the espresso cups. On that note, <clears throat> Hang on, how does that and then Natasha's staring at me there. The gin, we had 92 bottles of gin. <laughs> yeah. That's a long song. So you open it up like that, and all you're going to do now is you're going to stitch all the way around, again, a quarter of an inch. Just making sure that all the raw edges are as close together as possible. They should be identical. If you end up with a ripple, it doesn't matter because it'll be on the outside, and you can just tell people it was a design choice. That's what you wanted, and promptly steal all their candy if they do that. <laughs> Because this bag is very forgiving, and that was what I loved about it. And I think the fact that I've never made bags before and I've come up with a little design for something so sweet and simple, I think that might be an incentive for people just to give it a go. I think kudos, absolute kudos. It's been really nice. I feel like over the last few months we've watched you kind of learn and then grow into 3D. Yeah. It's nice. But the teddy good? bears I'm very excited about, and I won't deny I have a... Have you started? I'm not saying anything. Oh. I'm back in September, aren't I? Uh, yeah. Yay. You'd better be. Have you, has like has Gemma told... Slot. Oh, Gemma and I made a decision, by the way. I hope that's okay. I mean... We're doing a carpenter star quilt the next time I'm on. Oh, now I heard a little something about this. Tell me about it. Oh, my God, I love a carpenter star. I absolutely love carpenter stars. So, um, And what yeah. are you doing it in? Is that decided? That's, that's a conversation for later. Oh, okay. So I'll leave that with you while you marinate that. Have a call on the caterpillar. <laughs> it's too noisy. <laughs> I feel like we're in a carry-on <laughs> film or something. I know, I know, with a quick <laughs> arm workout. I mean, it's just, it's, yeah. That's uh, as much of a workout as you're going to get from me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, choose your battles, right? Uh, Becky says, oh, my, I came home from work feeling poorly, but you've really made me feel Oh, sorry, Becky, big hugs. Shenanigans, it's all right, John, your shenanigans. Quite right, quite of, uh, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, <laughs> hopefully, oh, I did, thank goodness. I thought, hopefully, I would have left a hole at the bottom of this. So you're looking, basically, you're going to have a little sandwich there, and you can see I've got a pleat already. It doesn't matter. Because when you turn it round, you're not going to notice. And even if you do, it's a design feature. So all you do now is you pull everything through these tiny little hole at the bottom of the lining. And fingers crossed, I got my trim the right way round. And if you didn't, again, quit quilting, send us all your fabric. That one's the right way round. That one's the right way round. Yes. <laughs> it's Sorry. the little winds. got very excited. It's the, it's little, the little winds. winds. <laughs> it's the little winds. <laughs> and a mouthful of Colin. <laughs> Let me live that one down, I'm getting it printed on a t-shirt for it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're going to have that little hole at the bottom of your lining there. Um, you can go and do that by hand, or you can just quite simply do what I'm going to do, because if anybody is looking at the bag, bottom of your bag of sweeties, uh, it's no. empty. Literally, just top stitch down the end there and then you're done. It's all sealed up absolutely fine there. But again, you can do it a lot neater by hand stitching it. Um, I'm going to give this a bit of a press now just to make sure I get it as flat as I can before I shove it back in the bag. And then over here. Oh, Pam says this is the most beautifully bonkers show. Oh, love, love it. You're most welcome, <laughs> Pam. I'm here all day. Right, so all you do now is you open it up and you plop that back in. And there's most of your bag made. Now you can see I've got a tiny little pleat there, but you can't really tell Where? and it doesn't really no, matter. Hang on, hang on. Aren't you going to like zhuzh it up anyway with a something anyway to shut it. Yeah. But I'm just showing people beforehand, that's what you end up with there, okay? That's like showing everyone your faults, don't you? Quite right. Well, faults? the thing is as well, because everybody's so critical of their own faults, I'd rather show them what I've done and then they can go from there. Now, this is, um, I'm not telling you the size because it's in the pattern. What you're going to do next for the drawstring section is, you're going to get the piece of fabric. This is not the size of the fabric you're going to be using for the drawstring. Um, got to keep some secrets to try and get you to buy the pattern. Press a finger mark in the middle. 
okay then you fold this to the middle and you fold that to the middle and then you press that using your iron the reason you do the first press in the middle is as a guide as to where your fabric must go and then just press this all the way down the piece of your fabric for your drawstring okay and then once you've done that fold it in half and press it again now I find it really easier doing those pressing marks you may wish to do it freestyle that's what I found worked really well and then all you're going to do now is you're going to top stitch down this end over here as close to the needle as you can but not too close to miss the seam and literally you just top stitch down the edge there And you can see how close I ended up getting that. You can see I went really close to the edge there. That's what you're looking for, is just getting it as close to the edge. But, ah, I'm glad I did that. If it hasn't caught over here, you've got to go back in and restitch. And that will happen. It's totally normal. It's happened on every single one of the drawstrings I've done, probably because I've done it in a hurry. Just catch both of your drawstring, your, both of your edges in there. And if you don't, just go back in and do an extra stitch okay so that's how you make the drawstring and then what you do next is here's one I made earlier you then get a pin or a paper clip what about a bodkin do you have a safety pin I've got a bodkin a what a bodkin what's a bodkin oh sir do you not know what a bodkin, bodkin. is show me what a bodkin is I'm excited bodkin you up sir there we go so, there's your bodkin. Oh! <laughs> we sell these natty little gadgets, don't you know? And you just put it in the side here? So, yeah, if you go on a close-up, I'll show you what to do. So, open, open up, pull the ring down. Oh! <laughs> start, start. And put the fabric between the squeezy bit. Ooh. And then push it up again. And then it's, it should be it should be held in the in the grippy bits. Have you got it held in the grippy bits? Can't see. Put it back on the camera. It'll work. Well, it will if you've done it right. If okay. it doesn't, it's my fault. I'll go on a wide shot. What could go wrong? <laughs> but you put it between the like. I think like we've pieces. had our wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. There, and you're going to put one in from one end. You're going to put it in that bottom loop over here, the bottom loop, and then you use your bodkin. Bodkin, yeah. It sounds like something out of Shakespeare. I was thinking Harry Potter. Oh, I mean, yeah. I think the comment about Gerald, my little cushion, was that looks like a very angry letter that Ron Weasley received in <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's not quite what I wanted, but there we go. Is that not the look you were going no. for? <laughs> but it does look like me in the morning before coffee. <laughs> right, so once you've done that, just make is sure you've got that work these. beautifully, by the way? It does. I oh, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You then see. all you're doing then is you just tie a knot in these two ends over here. Everyone needs a bodkin in their life. I think so. Oh, they're pennies. They're really not very much at all. They're really good. And there you go. You've done the one end, and now you're going to do exactly the same thing, but you feed it in from the other side. Does it need bodkin pro? Because obviously... When you've got these, you want the tassels coming out here. So you're going to feed it in from the side where you want the tassels to come out. You pull that through. And you pull that through. And there we go. Exactly the same thing. Now, the second one I did find was a little bit more difficult to line up. So what I did was I pulled these out this way. I lined this up here. Hang on, I've got a twist. Oh, there she is. Come on, you. There we go. So your bobkin is back in your thingy. So all I'm doing here is I always try and make sure that I haven't got a twist in it. And put the ends together. Do exactly what you did on the other side. Tie those together in a little knot. Come on, you. Focus. <laughs> You've tied knots before. 
There we go. Oh, don't. I have this argument with Freddie all the time. He can't tie his shoelaces. It, it just... Velcro. I've... Yeah, I know, I know, but he like he he should be able to tie his shoelaces. So I've tried to teach him, but because I haven't taught him the way they teach at school, clearly I'm wrong. Obviously. Obviously. Obs. You've been wearing shoes for how many mil I decades? Know. I was about to say millennia. <laughs> that I'm was so not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, none taken. Uh, <laughs> and obviously. Draw back. That's perfect. I love it. And you don't have to tie anything. You don't have well, to tie anything. And they the good thing is, is they can keep it in. And then there are two sizes, so you'll get the big one as well That's in there. Like a backpack. Hey, you could stitch in the edges into the base, and then you'd yeah. have a, you could have it as a little backpack. That's cool. I like that. But the other thing is, if you're having a fight with someone, you know, <laughs> just saying. I mean, you know, all eventualities covered, right? <laughs> is that we got you. The trick. <laughs> But I think they're just such a sweet little bag, and it is so simple to make. And it just fell in with all of this. And, yeah, I'm very excited to see what you all make with them all. Thank you, Elizabeth. Two decades, John. Just two. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Not millennia, sorry. See, that's why we're <laughs> I'm doing friends. really well this morning. <laughs> well, at least I've got an invite back, so that's good. That was before uh. the millennia. <laughs> Well, if I could look as good as you at your age, I would be happy. Not one of my many millennia. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, love. Uh, Jeanette said that's too love. bad you have. Oh, do you like? Love. Yeah, yeah. You can redeem yourself. It's all good. <sighs> so there we go. That's my Halloween collection there and the compendium pattern. $7.99 with the pattern to make the bag, the quilt and the little pockets. John, they're Hopefully. already downloading it. Digitally. Love. Boom, there we go. Love, love, love. And any questions, please let me know. And on that note, we have had a question. We've had a question, yeah, we have. Oh, if anybody would like Gerald, we will do him as a free pattern. Really? Let me know. Um, and you could do that. If you've got a mother-in-law that you really love, this could work really well. It could be a self-portrait for her. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I said that to somebody about something once. She says, I won't say the word she used. She says, doesn't deserve one. I'm like, okay. 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 <laughs> now, Alrighty. one of the questions we had um, was about block five, foundation paper piecing. Oh, yeah. So firstly, I need to apologise because I completely forgot that it was foundation paper piece. And so first of all, I sent out without the foundation paper piece. That Sorry. Was that was probably my fault. Um, Sorry. No, no, no. Completely me. So, uh, but we have rectified that. So you do actually need the paper pieces, or your foundation paper piecing will not be okay. And the, the these scissors are for paper. It's got paper written on it. <laughs> so you're going to get six pages. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to cut them out about a quarter of an inch away from the outer line. You'll see there's two lines. There's a dark line there, which is a line you're going to stitch on, and then there's another line, which is a quarter of an inch out. That is your seam allowance line, okay? Now, on the edge of each of these papers will be a tiny little section, which doesn't actually make sense. It is right. I promise you, we haven't sent you something that's weird. Just cut them out. You know that advert that they had of, oh, did you just shake your tic-tacs at me? Oh. I'm so tempted to say, oh, did you just shake your iron at me? <laughs> I, thought you were going, I, I was going in the shaken back direction. Do you remember that one? Um, <laughs> but, you know, you, you shake your tic-tacs all over the place, John. Oh, that's why I'm not in the netball team. <laughs> And we then have, this is now number D again. I think it was four pages, this one, not six pages, sorry. So now, John, was that the only reason you weren't in the netball team? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Can't throw. <laughs> yeah. I mean, can't it's quite catch. a big one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, one of them. Can't catch as sure, well. Yeah. <laughs> People throw things at me and I just look at them and watch it land on the floor and go, oh, that, you missed. <laughs> Right. Now, I know this is a bit of a weird process, so forgive me. It is just the only way of getting the foundation paper piecing 
done correctly. Let's see if You've the second one will go. Ah, oh, I got oh. the second one in. <laughs> oh, there we right. Go. So what you're doing now is, first of all, never, ever, 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 ever use sellotape. You need masking tape because sellotape is not liked by your machine. Masking tape is more liked by your machine, but it doesn't like anything. So what you're going to have here is you're going to have row A, B, and then it goes a bit weird because C is down at the bottom, and then D, and then E, F, and G. Now the first clue that something's gone wrong is if the letters are upside down. Okay, so if your G is upside down or to the side, you've got it the wrong way around. You should be able to read all of the letters here as they go. In your pattern, you will see a diagram of how it goes. Just remember that foundation paper piecing is backwards. So in your picture, F may be there, but in fact, F is on the other side because you are currently looking at the back of the quilt. No, you're not. Don't look at me. Yeah, Don't look at me. Your this pattern is, will just be real. It is correct, <laughs> I promise me. you. Just if it goes mirror <laughs> image of it. So you will see that you've got D2 over here oh. and you've got D2 over here on your lettering. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do, pick one. I always take the smaller one. And what you're doing is, and I'm going to need to do a zoomy over here. Oh, zoom, zoom, yep. Yeah. Over here, you will see there is a line. You are cutting on that line. And by on, I mean on, not a millimetre to one side or a millimetre to the other exactly on that line. So you're going to end up with your block looking like that. And the reason you want it like that is when you've got this piece over here coming in, you'll see a line that you've just cut. And what you're going to do is you're going to line that up exactly in place. Now, if you see there, I'm not exact because the point over there, the top's been missed. So you line that up exactly like that and you can still read the D2 that is what it's going to look like now at that point you just manipulate it onto the table and like myself you'll see you've probably cut that wrong so pull it apart make sure that these are going to meet it's never going to be exact but just get it as close to as you can and again put that there in place and just manipulate it until the line up there matches, the line at the bottom matches, and that little point at the bottom here matches perfectly. When you've done that, get yourself some masking tape. I do prefer masking tape to sellotape, only because um, it doesn't bung up your machine anywhere near as much. But we would be changing our needles. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, with foundation paper piecing, you change your needle a lot. <laughs> yeah, you will. You. But it's more about the fact that it doesn't actually like the gumminess of the sellotape when you glue when you stitch through it. Right. Masking yes. tape is much kinder. Now, often when I've done it, it's moved, and because it's masking tape, you fold it back, and then you can fold it back over again as oh, well. Perfect. So that's a nice little trick on being able to do that. Okay, and when you've done that, you then just put that on the bottom as well. Sometimes these pieces are very long apart, and if that happens, you may then want to turn it over and just put a little piece in the middle there at the back to keep it all together. And then when you're tearing everything apart as well, it's a lot easier to tear apart when you've got the masking tape in rather than sellotape. At that point, you take your ruler, you measure from the, dark, the, the outside light line to the outside light line, and it should measure 12 and a half inches. If it doesn't, check that this is right. If you're doing an automatic download on your machine, check that you have printed actual size. It is really important because the number of people who've made this block, not this one specifically, but downloaded it, printed it as fit to page, and the block is either too big or too small. So always measure your pieces as you go. That is exactly 12 and a half, and you can see that now fits get together there. Now we do the exact same thing on number C. You cut on that little line along here. You put that back in place over there. You can see that that matches perfectly. Take your little bit of masking tape at the top. And your little masking tape at the bottom. You 
you fold that over, fold that over. And when you're confident it's right, you can put another seam in the back here. And then you just press, you take your ruler again, and you check 12 and a half, and that is exactly 12 and a half. So that is how you're going to do these four little pieces there. I know we got asked that as a question, so hopefully that helps. Um, I will copy and paste this section onto my page as well. But that is your block five. So today is block six, and what block six is, is your sashings. Now, the sizes for the sashings are all in the pattern. What I would suggest to you is it doesn't matter how good or how accurate your sewing is, your blocks are going to be different sizes. It always happens that way. It's totally normal. Don't feel like you've done anything wrong. I always vary between sort of a quarter of an inch, sometimes half an inch. And the reason being is if your quarter inch seam is slightly out on this, it will add up all the way along the block. So over here, I can see that I'm now at 12 and 3 quarters of inches over here. And over here, I'm 12 and a half. So something's happened along the way. It's totally normal for your blocks to be different sizes. Okay, just don't beat yourself up about it. So what I would say to you is, if this is longer, I always cut my sashing strips always half an inch bigger. I always do because then you can manipulate it and you can trim it down afterwards. There's nothing worse than cutting them all directly to size, getting it next to the piece and it doesn't work. So over here, I've cut these half an inch bigger. So if you're, if you're right, you'll see that you're a quarter inch over there and a quarter inch over here, which is roughly what that one is. But in the middle, I'm definitely bigger than what I was in the thing. That's your long arm quilter's problem. Don't worry about it. If you're quilting the machine yourself, you're not going to see that quarter inch difference all the way. What I would say to you is when you are putting pieces together, this is half an inch bigger, you can see that that's exactly the same size. So when I come to put my cornerstones in here, this is going to be different. And when I put the next block up, and I'm not saying this is the next block up, because obviously check your pattern, you will see when I line that up, it's different. So what you do when you're sewing is you put this piece at the bottom, and you make sure that you trim this the same for the block here, and then maybe a little bit bigger there, and you make sure that the machine catches that difference as it goes. Putting this on the feed dogs on the bottom will suck in more fabric as you go. Don't do it all in one little bit here, otherwise you'll end up with a pleat over here. You don't want that. But if you then just gently ease it in along the way there, you'll end up with a tiny ripple as you go along. And that is a nice way of being able to hide that as you go. And you just keep pulling on the top fabric, whilst the bot this being on the bottom will get taken in by the feed dogs that little bit bigger. And the pattern clearly explains how you put these all together. I just think that you've just got to take your time, measure each piece. Because, for example, if this one's 13 inches, and this one's 12 and a half inches, or 12 and three quarters, when you put your fabric in there, when you come to put the cornerstones in, if you haven't got it lined up correctly, you're going to end up with this, an off triangle th uh, square there. And if you would want proof of that, here's one here. So you can see that this triangle, this square went in a little bit funny. And you can see it's a little, well, closer to my eye, I can see that it's wrong. But it's a little bit out over there than it is over here. And all the other points meet apart from there. And when you look at it at the distance, no one's going to notice. But it just take your time and feed it through. And just take it nice and slowly. Put your side bits in first and go from there. And then this is what your finished quilt is going to look like. Well, finished top. And then your long armor will get it to the state you want it to be. And that is the end of the block of the month on it. But the borders and the sashings, they're really well described in the pattern. If you need any further help, let me know. Um, I might do a little live feed video when I've eventually finished all of these blocks, <laughs> when I'm not moving house and doing everything else. You I know? mean, you know, there's been a yeah. thing or two, isn't there, that you've been up it's to? It's been a year, hasn't it? Quite it's been a, a year. busy year. Quite the year, but at least you have your home now. So oh, goodness. I know. It's wonderful. Yes. And by the sound of it, by the time I get home tomorrow, it'll all be done. Wow. Where are you off to next, then? Are you not going home? 
Uh, I've got my vaccine today, my second vaccine, because I've been trying to push it to a point where I could actually, because everybody says with Pfizer, if you end up having the second vaccine, sometimes you have a problem. Right. I, I don't believe in that. Some people do, some people don't. It was just a case, in case I do, don't fall off the table. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> a little ball just flew across the room. I just wanted to be able to have an afternoon or two days or three days where if I needed to, I can just, downtime. I've started watching Downton Abbey again. Oh, have Wasn't you? Wasn't that the most amazing series? Yes. Love it. Maggie Smith still oh, there love every it. time. Love Her it. Her little gems and pearls of wisdom. Carson's just gone to prison. <gasps> <laughs> you didn't know he did, did you? <laughs> I did, I did. The I first did. time. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> Poor man. There again. John, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Um, I can't believe it went so quickly again. I know. I, uh, I, yeah. I mean, I've, I've did we talk about the sizing of that? If people were wanting to make this. Sorry, I've just no, realized we, didn't, we haven't. Actually. Right. So for the compendium, when you're making bits of the fabric here, what I did was this is seven different fabrics on here. I used the spider web and the ghost houses. I didn't have these, which I regret now. But what I did is I had seven different fabrics and you need 12 six and a half inch squares on each one. So that works out to about three eighths worth of fabric, half a meter almost. Um, so if you wanted to do more fabrics, you would obviously only need like a long quarter on them. But buying by the half meter, you will easily be able to do that. And then if you wanted to make the boxes and things like that as well, you can mix and match. That's why we haven't done pattern kits on them. It's a case of if you like something, then just go and get it and buy it and They're cut your, all cut your on squares the website. out. And all on the website. And they um, are really good. The it's, the it's the first time I've intensively worked with a Lewis and Irene fabric, and they're really lovely to work with. I've really enjoyed them. And I spoke to the lovely, and I've forgotten her name now, the lovely lady at Lewis and Irene. And Claire? She, uh, no, Jen. Ooh, she yes. was a Scottish lady. She's so oh, yes. lovely. Yes, She's yes, so yes, lovely. Yes. It is Jen, isn't it? Yes. Um, guaranteed for up to 20 washes. Guaranteed for your glow in the dark. Perfect. But depending how often you wash your quilts and things, not many people wash them 20 times in their lives. No, that's very true. So true. you'll love them. They're really cute. They add that extra little bit of fun, don't they? But it's um, the metallic as well. Oh, that was the other thing I didn't show you on Gerald. I know, I'm still <laughs> going to flog Gerald. Gerald. But what I did was I fussy cut his eyes of out of the did. metallic. But the metallic, I don't know if we can... Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've just got to reboot everything. Bear, bear with me, Corla. Bear with me. This is stuff of nightmares, John. There it is. he is. But you can see I fussy cut the gold metallic yeah, into his eye. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Gerald's going to make it. Sorry, Gerald. Is, I mean, it looks like one of the scary Lego heads. Are you sure you weren't inspired by like nope. the Lego movie or something? It was a day when I made it. <laughs> I was in a mood. Can you tell? Never, <laughs> never, never. But thank you for having me. And next no, time, Carpenter you. Star. Oh, well, we need to discuss fabrics then for that. I, I feel like you have some ideas. Cave. Yes. Oh, OK, right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if in doubt, cave it up. Um, thank you so, so much. And everybody, thank you ever so much for watching. Um, uh, yeah. Get yourself some Colin the Caterpillars. <laughs> you can't beat a mouthful. Right. <laughs> On that note, take care. Stay safe. Oh, bye. Lots of beautiful Lewis and Irene on the show tomorrow. <laughs> bye.